Oh yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over a product I have here. This is called the the Debu. I think it's pronounced du Dubu. I'm just going to say it's Dubu. I don't know. I think the W might be silent. Safety innovation say hi to warmth that is so cute i like that so yeah check out the packaging here what this is this is a heated soft shell like jacket i've never used any of the heated jackets in the past i've never had any type of heated clothing i'll leave a link where you could go check out this dubu company check those guys out because they have you know heated gloves heated jackets heated pants i think they pretty much got heated everywhere maybe even heated underwear i have no idea but yeah go ahead and check these guys out I'll go ahead and put the specs of this jacket up on the screen now and let you guys check it out before I do the unboxing here. So yeah, you can see that it's a soft shell. You could see that it comes with a battery, whatever. All the charge time, I think it's 10 hours of heating time. Uh, there's a low, medium, and high. Heats up to 140. What we'll, You get the message. We'll go ahead, we'll start opening it up and let's see what we got in there. So here we go, right away, let's see. You get a... A power bank which looks to be it's an 8,000 milliamp USB-C cable it is their their brand and I don't know if you can see that but you can mash this button and you can see it has a percentage on it and to charge it you just pretty much charge in charge it through the USB-C but this is supposedly if you have a like a a USB-C charger, say like an iPhone to lightning port that's USB-C, you can charge your cell phone with that too. So you always got a battery bank with you. That's one plus. That's kind of cool. The jacket itself, so it has five heating zones. It has it in the back, on each arm, and in the front. Maybe right over your liver and your heart. You know what? We always like that. First thing you want to do is charge the battery, fully charge it up and then locate and then put it in there. We'll do all that. You know what? Like a lot of instructions, screw them. We're gonna, all right, look at that. That is a nice looking, this is a soft shell. So this is their soft shell jacket that comes, it's wind, wind resistant, water repellent. You know, it's not water reproof, it's a soft shell, so, but it, it is water resistant. It goes apart. Here's the pocket. The pocket, what you want to do, you want to plug that in. It looks like it runs up into it. It runs into all these heating zones. Put it in there like that. Zip it up and you're good to go. This has like a, a hood on it that you can roll up. You close that hood up like that. It goes around like that. Something like that. All right, it's a little warm out here today, so I'm not really going to test it today, but I will go ahead. And I'll, I'll go ahead and start testing this thing. Let's, you know, the first thing we want to do is put some more patches on it. I love me some patches. The story of my life right there. And on this arm, how about that? I survived the shit creek. We gotta leave the American flag on there. There you go, I'm all patched up. You know what, I'm leaving that hood out. So that this little flap goes like that. That little attention to detail, you can see that. Ain't that not cool? That's really cool to have that little attention to detail. Dubu on the zipper, I like that. I'll go ahead and charge this battery up and then I'll, I'll give more like using the jacket. All right, let's do it. So this is the soft shell version. As you can see, it's just a good jacket by itself. I would wear this even without the heater on it. We got a zipper here, zipper here. This thing has eight zippers on it. One of the cool things about this, these pockets at first, I thought they were a little goofy because they were so high. They're really high up, but it puts your hands right over the heating elements. You have heating elements here, one here, one here, and one across the back. So you've got a total of five heating elements, off and on, turning it on and off. But one of the cool features about this battery that I wanna show you guys, this battery also has a USB-C port on it. So if you've got a USB-C cable, check this out. 
you can charge a cell phone with it. So that's charging a cell phone. So that's a so that's basically a power bank also you have with you. That's kind of a cool feature. Whether you'd ever use it, I don't know, but it's nice to have it in there. That stays kind of tucked away right there. You don't really notice it. It kind of feels like you have a cell phone in your pocket. You really don't notice it after a while. Um, let's see. It zips up like that. What I do like, it's fleece lined inside of here. So it's fleece lined around your face right there. This is all fleece lined. It's a soft shell package. The, the jacket itself is a soft shell, but this has fleece lining around the top and on the inside of the hood. So check this out too. So the hood, there's two ways to tighten it down. I didn't even know this until I just started looking around. You can tighten it down there, but check out inside these pockets. These little things will actually pull the hood. These will pull the hood down and tighten down. So I can sit here and I'll pull down on that. Now the hood is tightened down. I like that. I like that feature. And this jacket is kind of water repellent. Let me get this hood undone. To undo it, you do it like that. So it is water repellent. It's not waterproof, by the way, but it does have a water repellency to it. When water hits it, it just kind of beads up on it. Uh, pocket here. I think I counted eight pockets total. Got the Velcro cuffs here. I like that. I always like a Velcro cuff. Um, what else? Two weird pockets right here. I don't know what these pockets would be used for. I don't know. Maybe if you had your hand cuffed, if you're being arrested and you want to keep your hands warm. I don't know. Well, I don't know why they would put pockets back there. It has a pull right here to tighten up around your waist. I do like that. It tightens up to kind of make it more wind resistant there. Um, it's cut a little longer back here. So it's got a longer cut here than the front. So this hood can be rolled up. It can be rolled up and stored inside there. I won't roll it up because I like having the hood on. To turn it on, you want to hold down. Red is the hottest. They claim it goes up to like 140 and I think, which I don't know how hot it is, but I can tell you guys, it starts heating up immediately. Actually, let me turn it off. To turn it off, you do that. So I'm gonna show you guys, let's just check it right away. I haven't had it on, I've had it off for a little bit. So that's kinda warm in there. Looks like we're at about 75 degrees right there. So let's try this. So I was at 75 degrees. I'm gonna turn it on. Now that means it's in, a, that's the hottest setting. You can cycle through the settings. That's the medium, that's the low temp, back on the high temp. I want it right on the high. Let's see how high it goes. And if it's exactly at five o'clock, we'll give it just a few minutes and then I'll, I'll test it again. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. I've let it heat up for about two minutes. And what's crazy is as soon as you turn this on, it's noticeably, you can start feeling it. And check this out. I can actually zip it from the bottom up. So let's try it now. That's 10 degrees difference in two minutes. We're at 87. So I'm about 86, 87 degrees. I did it three times. I came up with 85, 86, 87 degrees. So that was a 10 degree temperature jump inside this area right here. I feel it mostly on my back and the back of my arms, which is kind of crazy because you don't think of a jacket having heated on the arms, but it heats the blood flow for the hands, which is an interesting concept. I've never used one of these heated jackets. You guys leave in the comments below if you've ever used one of these heated jackets, because I've never used one. But you know what? I figured I'd give one a shot, see what I think about it. It's been three minutes. I can definitely feel the heat in this area. More right here. So it looks like it's right over your kidney area and kind of like over your heart and your liver. So I've got a heating element here and a heating element right on the elbow and the tricep. It, it feels about right here. You can actually see where it's stitched in right there and right there. That's actually the heating element where it's stitched in and on the inside. Well, I'm gonna let it heat up some more so I can take one more. It's definitely not 140. I don't know what it is. I'll leave the specs on the screen so you guys can check that out and let you check out the specs. So it has a little 
little key ring right here for you to hook your keys on if you need to. So you can hook your key ring on right there. And like I said, these pockets were high, and I thought they were a little too high at first. Normally pockets are down here, but these are up here, and I think it's so your hands can rest right up on that heating element. Which, and they're very big pockets. Very, they're very wide and big pockets. I got 91.9 on that one. There's a, you can see where the heating element stitched in right there. I think all that cold wind is blow. I, it's very cold wind up here, by the way. <laughs> so I think all that cold wind starting to blow in there. So I'm, I'm up at about 90 degrees right now. And this thing is like wind repellent because there is a, I don't know if you can see that. You can see this. This little flower blowing. There's definitely a lot of wind. I don't know if you can hear it in the mic, but there's a lot of wind up here. All right, everybody, that's all I got today on the Debu heated jacket. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you could pick one of these up to their website. So, yeah, check these guys out. See what you think. I've never used a heated jacket before, so this is one of my first. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you've used any type of heated clothing, if you think it's even worth it. I like the jacket even without the heated. I think it looks pretty good. You know, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, don't you? Um, yeah, so I would wear this even without the heated jacket. It's just a nice looking soft shell jacket in my opinion very comfortable and by the way this is a medium um, I think they their size pretty big I'm about 185 right now maybe a little heavier but it's like this feels pretty good to me this actually feels like it's non restrictive and it feels pretty good so a medium yeah, they feel a little large so yeah thanks a lot everybody thanks for watching and I will uh, catch you guys next time check that out look at that that's where I'm hiking to. See that? I'm hiking, and the only thing I'm taking is a pocket knife and the Debu. Don't fail me, Debu. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here.